What? Morning run. We only have one day here, so I'm trying to make a count by uh, running around the city as many times. Fun fact, it only takes 45 minutes to walk around the entire city. So I figure if I run, I'll just... One thing I'm noticing is if you go down a random alley, 50-50 that it's gonna be to a dead end like this. This is great, but for running, not so much. So is that a well? If there's peace I can find Instead of always being on the ground I need a new purpose I'm looking for so much more Don't leave me here searching You're just what I'm longing for Alright, I gotta turn around I have no idea where I am, I'm, I'm lost But, before I started running I dropped a pin where our house is, so I just have to follow that pin. Good, because if I didn't, then I'd be completely... And Savannah's still asleep, so uh, she can't send me her location or anything. This kind of goes without saying, but one thing that I really... Since starting photography or videography, I've really been able to appreciate cities and places that I've been. And Italy is one of those places that it's just, it's beautiful pretty much wherever you look. And running today just solidified that. Everywhere you go, this place is beautiful. I'm putting, these are sweaty, nasty running shorts and I'm just putting them there so they can dry. Savannah doesn't like me leaving them in our bedroom because it makes our bedroom stink. Quick breakfast. <laughs> Update, uh, we, we switched coffee shops because this place is bigger. I'd be lying if I told you that I planned or had any part of planning this trip whatsoever. So with that being said, I have no idea where I'm going and literally she just tells me where, where we're going right now. We're gonna walk to St. Mark's Square. Looking it up on Google Maps right now. For those of you that don't know, here you have to you have to pay to go to the public restrooms. That's what the whole carnival ride looking thing was for, and uh, this one has to uh, has to go. We gotta go through that. is within the building itself. Uh, all that to be said, we're, we're taking pictures again. Make sure we're out the film camera this time, so. so I had somebody recently ask how I manage like bright scenes, like lighting scenarios, like direct sun in the middle of the day. This lens doesn't let me put NDs on because it's so wide. But even before that, I never really used NDs. I did something else. See, what I do, it's not overly complicated. All I do is I adjust the, the f-stop, or the aperture, and the shutter speed, depending on what needs to be adjusted. 90% of the time it's gonna be the f-stop. I'll just crank that thing all the way as high as it goes, and that typically gets me close enough and I can adjust things in post if I need to. But if it's still too bright, then I'm going to adjust the shutter speed. The ISO stays at 640, which is what this native ISO is. And that's honestly pretty much, pretty much it. It's not complicated, I just like to keep it simple. I have no idea what this is. 
It's like a little courtyard. I think it's for a hotel, but it's amazing. That's what I'm talking about. There are so many people walking around with cameras. I've counted at least 60 or 70. I think we're going to Disneyland. I don't know if I'm allowed to fly the drone here. I'm just gonna plug it in and take it off. take it back now. I just have to figure out where I am in this. I think I see myself. It's right above me. ended up getting groceries because we're gonna cook in our Airbnb tonight just cuz uh, just to change the pace you know well my portion of the cooking is done taking pictures of her food. It's like Instagram on a whole new level with the film camera. Thank you for making this. <laughs>